Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Cutter here coming at you again with another video. Um, this is my PlayStation 2 collection. Currently I have 46 game, uh, games, I believe. Um, 17 which don't have a case. But um, I used to have a lot more than this, but I think I traded a lot of them in before to get some extra money for some other games or something. I have no idea. But uh, let's get started. First off, I'm going to show you the games without cases, and then I'll show you guys all the games with cases. Um, uh, Full Metal Alchemist 2, Full Metal Alchemist 1, SSX 3, which these are, most of these are fantastic games. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, very good game. This is a Namco Transmission version 3.2 demo disc. I think there's uh, some demos on there and some trailers, and I think you can download some stuff like some Tekken games, like unlock all the characters or something, I don't quite remember. Star Wars 2, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. I loved the Lego Star Wars series. Um, and then there's a uh, Transformers, which I don't, I haven't really ever played this. And then DT Racer, I haven't played that one either. Um, Need for Speed Carbon, from what I remember, this game was pretty fun for a racing game. Um, the first Lego Star Wars, which again I love the Lego Star Wars games. Uh, Cabela's Deer Hunt, season opener, um, good game if you enjoy hunting games. Uh, Jack Two, one of my favorite PlayStation Two games, which I want to pick this one up again so I can get the case to it. Um, Star Wars Battlefront Two, again, very good game. Uh, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, pretty good Tony Hawk game. Um, Cabela's Dangerous Hunts, good hunting game. And then uh, that's it for my PlayStation 2 stuff. That Xbox game in the back there is my dad's. Um, Alright, uh, these two also don't have a case, or an official case, I guess. But uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, and Mortal Kombat Deception, which are both very good games. All right, guys. These ones all have cases, and I believe most of these are complete. Um, Leisure Suit Larry, Magna Cum Laude. Um, I just recently picked this game up. So far from what I played on it, it's fun. It's a little different, and um, it's a little weird sometimes. But uh, the mini games in it are a lot of fun. Recommend picking this up. Devil May Cry 3. This is a fantastic game. Um, I love the Devil May Cry series. They're so much fun. Um, definitely recommend picking this up. History Channel, Battle for the Pacific. Um, I don't, I haven't really played this game too terribly much, but from what I remember of playing it whenever I was littler, um, it's quite, it's fun. It's just hard, from what I remember. All right, now Dragon Ball Z Budokai, which this one, I guess you could count as not having an official case, because sadly, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi is the game that's in there, but. Um, Budokai Tenkaichi is a fun game, and I remember this Budokai game being a lot of fun. I think this was the first Dragon Ball Z game I ever played, and I loved it. Alright, uh, Tony Hawk's Proving Ground. This is kind of a fun uh, Tony Hawk game. It's not as good as the others, in my personal opinion. Alright, um, Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance. This is a fantastic game. Um, it's so much fun. I've put countless hours into this game. This game I have played a lot. Um, my uncle Donnie introduced me to this game, and um, it's a great game. I definitely recommend picking this one up. All right, Jack and Daxter, The Precursor's Legacy. Um, I beat through this game whenever I was younger. I just recently picked this game up again. And um, I played about an hour or so into it, and um, so far I'm having a blast with it again. This is a fantastic game. I definitely recommend picking this one up as well. Um, Samurai Warriors 2. I love this game. I loved this game. I haven't played it in a few years, but uh, from what I remember, this game was a lot of fun. Um, pretty good amount of characters inside of this game. Definitely recommend picking this one up as well. Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. If you enjoy Guitar Hero games, this is a pretty fun one. Thrillville. Um, this game's fun. Um, you build your own roller coasters and stuff, and you can play like little mini games and stuff inside of it. It's pretty fun. Um, Kill Zone. I played this game before I played Halo, and uh, me and my friends used to play this like uh, against the bots, kind of like a online Halo, but instead it's like you and a friend versus bots, or just you versus bots. And um, had a lot of fun with this game growing up. Um, Cabela's Dangerous Hunt 2009. Yet again, a good hunting game if you enjoy that kind of game. Um, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. A very good Star Wars game. Um, I wish it would have been longer. It's a lot of fun. The second one's pretty good as well. I have that on the 360, but it's not nearly as good as this one. 
uh, Final Fantasy 12, I believe. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But um, this is my first Final Fantasy game that I ever played. Um, I haven't got too far into it. I think I got like two or three hours into it. And uh, from what I remember playing on it, it's quite fun. But I just haven't got to get into the series yet. If you guys have a recommendation for the first Final Fantasy game to play, or the best Final Fantasy games out of the series, um, post it in the comments below or make a video response, please. All right, uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica X or Code Veronica 10, however you, whatever you want to call it. Um, this game is fantastic. I love it. Um, it's more like an older Resident Evil, like the game style. It's not super easy. Um, there's not ammo plenty. It's not as hard as most. Like, also own Resident Evil Outbreak, which sadly I don't have at my house at the moment because I'm letting a friend borrow it. But that game is Resident Evil Outbreak's fun. It's really hard. Um, but this one right here. It's pretty hard. The controls are a little buggy, and you kind of have to get used to them. But after you get used, get past the controls, it's a pretty solid, good game. Um, Resident Evil Four. Um, it's fun. It's quite fun. It's not necessarily hard, like the older Resident Evil games. It's not really survival because you don't really have survive. And there's, instead of having zombies, there's like uh, like crazy villagers and parasites. But um, it's fun. It's a pretty good game. I definitely recommend picking it up. Uh, the Matrix, Path of Neo. Um, I haven't played this game in several years. This was given to me by my friend Tristan not too long ago. Um, from what I remember from us playing it when we were younger, um, it's it's pretty good game. I recommend picking this up if you can find it for a few dollars. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Again, my friend gave me this not too long ago. I personally have never played a Metal Gear Solid game. Um, I want to get into the series and I want to try it out. Um, I imagine I will sooner or later, but my friend gave me this one, so this is m most likely going to be the very first one that I play. But I'm really looking forward to playing this series. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Sonic Heroes. Um, again, I've had this game for a very, very long time. Sorry about the thunder, guys. i this game for a very long time. Uh, me and my friend used to play this. Um, there's like different teams in it. It's pretty fun from what I remember. Van Helsing. Um, this was a fantastic game. Um, it's a whole lot of fun. And I recommend picking it up if you can find it for a few dollars. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. The best Dragon Ball Z game. Period. In my opinion. The best one. This right here. Best Dragon Ball Z game. Um, 150 characters. It's a whole lot of characters, but um, the gameplay in this one I remember. This one was the most solid. It's it's the best one out of the series in my opinion. Next up, uh, Soul Reaver Two. I've played quite a bit of this game. I haven't played it in a few years again, but um, it's fun, and I definitely recommend picking this game up if you can find it. Next up, um, Unreal Tournament. I got this game a few years back for I think a dollar I think I got this for a dollar at a yard sale but uh, Unreal Tournament I love the Unreal games they're a lot of fun and this one right here is fun uh, me and my friends used to play it quite a bit um, definitely recommend picking this one up Jack 3 um, again I love the Jack series and this one this one's really good I enjoyed it um, it's a little different like um, you get like your own buggy thing and there's like car missions from what I remember but uh, definitely worth picking up. Alright, next up is uh, Dragon Ball Z Sagas. This right here is a very fun Dragon Ball Z game. Um, it's different. It's not like a you versus a person and you guys just fight. Um, you go through maps. Like, you go through a map and you fight like minions until you get to the very end, which there's a boss, and then you have to fight the boss, whether it's like um, Raditz or Vegeta or Nappa. Um, I think it goes through the Cell Saga, from what I remember. But uh, it's a very good, fun game. I would definitely recommend picking this up if you can find it. <clears throat> Alright, next up, um, Call of Duty The Finest Hour and Call of Duty The Big Red One. In my opinion, these, these were the best Call of Duty games out there. Um, they're pretty hard, and they're, they're just the best. I definitely recommend picking these up if you guys can find them. Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, Yes, it is a Disney game, and that would probably throw you off of this game and make you think it's going to be horrible. 
but um, it's actually a lot of fun, and this this game is definitely worth picking up. Um, I've played the first one as well, which I don't own currently, but I remember the first one being a lot of fun too. But this one right here is definitely worth the money to pick if you can find it. All right, and last but not least, Ratchet and Clank. Um, I played through this game as a child, and I just recently bought it again. I don't know what happened to the original one I had, but um, this game is a lot of fun. A lot of people say it's kiddish, which it is kind of kiddish, but in my opinion, it's a very good game. And I definitely recommend picking this game up if you can find it. All right, guys, um, those are all my PlayStation 2 games, along with the black case up there. Um, thank you guys for watching my video, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it.